Rays of Sunshine. It's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls and Merry Christmas. So when I'm filming this video, it is Christmas and I am still in my PJs. It's morning time. I have a lot of work to do today because I am leaving out of the country tomorrow to go to Paraguay. So I still wanted to do this video. I'm going to try to make it quick, but wanted to wish you all a very blessed and um, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. This is going to be partially a drinks and dollies as you saw um, at the beginning of this video because I had some fun content of Jet, so the traveling Blythe that was staying with me. This is a little pin that each of the hosts get after having her, so that stays here with me. So. So yeah, has Jet and Ryder there, but yeah, I had some footage of her, but it was kind of short, so I wanted to include it in this video, and it was time for me to do a drinks and dollies anyways, so yeah. So since it is Christmas, it's a great day to go ahead and open up a doll that I gifted myself. So this is from AliExpress and it is a Blythe doll or um, I'm not that familiar with Blythe, you guys. This is my first experience having a Blythe doll when I got Jet, when Jet arrived here. So yeah, that's my first time, like first experience with a Blythe type of doll. I think this is actually like an icy doll. Um... I watched a video on Allison's channel, Muñeca's Poupé's Dolls, about Blythe, but honestly, you guys, my memory is so bad, I kind of forgot um, exactly. Like, it's a whole thing. Like, the Blythe community is so big, and there's so many... Um, like different kinds of Blythe type dolls, the ones that have like eye chips and uh, that whole little mechanism with their eyes and the big heads and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, I never really thought that I would be into Blythe, and um, but having Jet here really inspired me, and I really liked her. She, like, I wouldn't say that I'll be a Blythe collector i'm a collector of all types of dolls but i figured it'd be cool to have at least one in my collection after having her here and there's such a huge blythe doll community and um, there's lots of collabs and things that go on in the blythe community so it'd be cool to participate in those but i can't if i don't have a blythe doll so i went ahead and ordered this girl right here and just in time for Christmas so I just wanted to come on like I said really quick and open her up and show you guys so and that's why I included the video at the beginning because it was all inspired by Jet so because of Jet I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and get me a Blythe type doll um so yeah so first things first we have some elf ears because I have plans to make my Blythe an elf doll. So you guys, if you've watched my channel before, you know I'm really into fantasy dolls and mythical creatures and things like that. So I definitely had to get her some ears. I got two pairs because I wasn't sure which ones would match her skin tone better. But this is her hand pack. It was so cool to switch out the little hands on the Blythe doll because there's so many different ones. So that's really cool. All right. And now it is time for the doll. So here she is. And she is the same. Um, the um, face is very similar to Jet's face. So I really liked her face and I wanted to get one that was very similar to her. This one has green hair, which is very different. I don't have any doll with green hair in my collection. I don't think. Um, maybe some of my cloth, one of my cloth dolls might, but... I don't know. I really think this is the only green hair doll that I have. But um, it's it is soft. There is a lot of hair on this doll, you guys. This is a lot of hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I think she might have more hair than Jet, and it's a different. Well, no, um, it's still kind of wavy, but this girl does not have bangs. So, yeah, I really love her skin tone. It's this very warm, nice tan color. Uh, oh, and I see the difference. So her face, I think, is actually a different color than the rest of her body, which is interesting. Let's see. Let's take her shield off. And this little bit. And I was debating whether or not I wanted this one 
or there's like another one that had shorter hair so um i almost got both of them you guys but i was like no i just want one right now uh, the other one was really cute too but i just didn't know how the hair would turn out i'm actually thinking about taking this one to my hairstylist and letting her cut her hair so i think i want to thin this hair out and um give her a cut i'm gonna put some type of little i think um little barrette or a little crown or something on her head to kind of keep this hair out of her face a little bit probably like a little barrette i'll probably put that right there because i think that's a really cute look and then i want to get her hair cut like thinned out a little bit and cut maybe to her shoulders the reason i didn't just get the one with the short hair was because um she did have bangs and i like the bangs on jet but on this one um I don't know I kind of just like this look and I like the shade of green as well because the other one had like some different colors um blended in with the green and it was really pretty too I like that green as well but I don't know ultimately you just pick the one that you just like a little bit better and let's check out her eye chips so we have these brown side glancing ones are kind of like a um amber colored eye that one's really pretty oh wow and then this so i think this one clicks oh wow so this one clicks different than jet's because jet jet had two little um pull strings so if you guys know about that let me know in the comments because i just didn't i just don't know like what the difference is or how why there's two on jet but um this one turned pink so um pink eye chips and then this one is like sort of like a grayish like a gray color yeah like a gray color i think side glancing and then we have the blue ones that's really pretty it reminds me of earth when it's on the blue and then against her um green hair it's really pretty and then i think that's gonna be it Yep, so those are her eye chip colors. And the only bad part, okay, so she can't close her eyes then. Because they automatically open. With the jet, I was able to pull one and um, her eyes would shut closed. So that might be a customization that I don't know about. Um, I don't know if the doll just came like that or if something had to be done with her mechanism to make her eyes like shut with one and then open um for the eye chip changes i don't know but um make sure yeah there's just one pull string right there so but that's okay because most of the times her eyes will be open anyways but let me know in the comments you guys if that's something that i need to like add to her or if it's just a different type of Blythe that doesn't have the second pull string. Just let me know in the comments. So she has this smoky, kind of smoky eye going on with the black. That's actually really, really pretty. I really love that. I really like her lips as well. This sort of like plum matte color and her rosy cheeks. Really pretty. And yeah, her body is slightly different well, not even that slightly. I mean, in pictures, it won't be no that noticeable, but her body is definitely a different shade of brown or a tan than her face. She has that warmer tone on her face and that cooler tone on her body. So I guess that's why the hand pack, yeah, the hand pack matches her body exactly, but her face is definitely more of more of this color. So let's try this out. Oh, broke that part. Okay, so here are the ears, and let's see. Okay, so I think, okay, so this is my first time, um, at first, I was looking for a Blythe with elf ears, but when I saw that they sell them separately, I was like, oh, okay, I'll get, because there wasn't too many options as far as like a 
Blythe that already had ears attached. So I think this gets attached with maybe some putty or something. Yeah, there's some putty included. So I'll put the putty on and then put her ears. That is so cute. That adds so much to her, I think. I really like her that way. Let me know what you guys think, but I absolutely love that. That's so adorable. So um, when I get back from my trip, I am going to go ahead and put some putty on and um, yeah, attach those and find her an outfit and everything. Sorry for the dolly nudity, but I don't have any clothes um, taken out right now. Like I said, I am busy um, getting ready for my trip tomorrow. So I still have a few things that I need to pack and everything. But yeah, you guys, so I'm actually going to save the other news like doll related content that I have for when I'm in South America. So um, so stay tuned for that video. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So this is my first ever Blythe doll. You'll be seeing more of her when I get her a little outfit. I'll probably do, um, a dolly dress up video because you guys seem to enjoy it when I did Jet's dress up video. So I'll probably do one for her as well. Cheers to my first ever Blythe doll. I don't have that nice big cup of hot chocolate right now. I'm not quite in the mood. I've been drinking a lot of tea so that I don't um, get sick, like a lot of honey and ginger tea so that I can kind of um, ward off any germs that might be sticking around in my throat so so yeah no um hot chocolate today but i hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of jet she is actually in puerto rico right now i think she's still there and will be headed back to jamie soon so uh you guys make sure to check out jet's travels i'll take you guys along with her makeover because yeah this is a bunch of hair i don't know if i could deal with this i mean i could braid it up and everything but but um, yeah, I think some of this is going to have to go. It's really pretty and really soft. But yeah, we're going to get a nice little cut done for her and an outfit picked out and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll find an outfit for her in South America. Who knows? It is a holiday season. So maybe they'll have some um something for me to pick up there so we will see um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to you guys soon again merry christmas be safe and i'll see you guys in the new year Bye.